Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Too Busy Bum. I am Debushmita and today's topic gonna be what all essentials we need to get started with the cloth diapering journey. So if you are pregnant and expecting a new baby, what all you need to get for your baby so that you can start cloth diapering from the day one. If you're planning to not do it from day one, maybe from a week old then what all essentials you need to have to do a successful cloth diapering journey and it's very easy so I will give you all the tips and tricks so before that if you are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to our channel hit the bell button and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the essentials that we need all right guys so if somebody is starting the cloth diapering from newborn stage and they're building their newborn stash their essential gonna be a little different than somebody who already have started the cloth diapering journey because they probably already have the cloth diapers and few other things but i'm gonna tell you a few more things that gonna make your cloth diapering journey more enjoyable and easy so that you can enjoy more time with your baby and not have to worry about other things first thing that we need is gonna be the diaper itself i have a video on how to make your ideal stash and also all about the newborn cloth diapers so if you are new please go to the description box below and find the links so that way you will have better idea how to choose your cloth diaper and what kind of cloth diaper you want to go with so this is a pocket diaper so first thing you need is cloth diapers so the second thing i would say you need is gonna be the cloth wipes you know when you are cutting down on the disposable diapers already we can also cut down on the disposable wipes these are just regular baby washcloths you can use like little hankies for the kids the you can find muslin hankies and wipes there's wonderful vendors who make those and sell them if they're a little expensive for you you can just use the regular little towels that you can find they're only like 10 rupees probably so they will be really beneficial in the long journey now the next thing i think you will need is gonna be the detergent it's very important to choose your detergent wisely and cloth diaper safe detergent if you're choosing a detergent that have fragrance and fabric softener that's gonna give your diapers buildups so we have to make sure we are choosing some kind of detergent that does not have any fragrance and fabric softener that way you don't have to worry about stripping your diapers or deal with leak or absorbency issues the next one i will say you will need is gonna be the fleece liner you know if you're doing a newborn stash then make sure you have some of the newborn size fleece liner if you're doing it for an older child you can make bigger size and i'm gonna have some diy fleece liner you can buy the fabric for very cheap and make it home and you don't need to serge the sides so they don't roll up as you can see i just cut it with the scissor and i will show you how easy it is to make at your home and the next thing is gonna be a wet bag a wet bag is something made from the pul material like the outside cover of your diapers and it has a zip in here all you do you put your soil diaper in here and close the zip that way the smell doesn't get into your diaper bag you can throw it in your diaper bag or you can hang it in your stroller you can just carry it in your hand there's just so many benefits of having a wet bag you know this can have benefits after you're done doing cloth diapering because then if you are going for a swimming or if you're going somewhere else you can put your soil cloth inside this and bring it home because this is waterproof so it's really nice to have something like this around your house at any point of time a lot of people also use this plastic bag because they don't want to invest on it and use a plastic bag each time but those plastic bags are going to our environment and landfills and not getting by like degraded so let's just get wet bags it's not so expensive and it's gonna be helping you in a long, long way the other thing i prefer to have with me is a rash cream 
because you know the babies can deal with rash sometimes and it can happen for a lot of different reasons not always because they are wearing a diaper but they can have it for a lot of other reasons they can have allergies and they can have acidic poop which can cause that they can have diarrhea and then they are probably pooping so much that they might get a rash and then you might have to use just a little bit when you are choosing a diaper rash cream let me just let you know this make sure your diaper rash cream does not have petroleum because the petroleum gel gonna stick on the outer layer i mean the top layer of your diaper and it's gonna affect the absorbency so it's gonna repel the water and it's not gonna absorb as much and then you will have to deal with leak then you probably have to strip your diapers and it's gonna be a little hectic so if you are doing club diapers already and if you have a rash cream make sure your rash cream does not have any petroleum in case sometimes doctors gonna give you some kind of gel or ointment which might have petroleum on it you have to use a fleece liner on top of your diaper so that the diaper can be safe from the ointment that you're using a lot of times yeast infections have to be dealt with prescribed ointment so at that point it's best to use liners you can use disposable liners as well but you know as i said we're trying to cut down on the disposable items so it's very cheap to make the fleece liners let's just use them the other thing i never used when i was in the united states with my older one is gonna be a powder and i use fragrance free and talc free powder because if you do a little bit of research, the talc is actually not good for the babies. I mean, not only babies, for anyone because they can cause a lot of disease. I don't want to go into the details, but it's always nice to have a talc-free powder so your baby's feeling nice and cool and dry because it's very hot in India, especially for summertime. You must have that. Now, the next thing is going to be a swim diaper, you know. The swim diaper is a really nice thing to have. If your baby is going for swimming, you can use it. This is our one size, so you can use it for longer time. So it's always nicer to invest on your swim diaper and then you don't have to buy a swim diaper when you are going to pool or to anywhere else. They can wear this, play in the water in your house. If you have a little pool, you can put one of this on. Also, it's not really an essential thing. You can also use covers. If you have covers in your stash already, you probably don't need one of this because you can just use a cover or pocket without the inserts for swim diapers. The next thing is gonna be boosters. So if you're building this stash for your newborn, your newborn will probably not need as, as much as absorbency as your older child will need. So as your baby is growing, you'll probably have to add the boosters to your stash so that they can get more absorbency. So let me show you one, like this one is really good as a newborn diaper, but as Rishi is almost six months now, he has outgrown the absorbency of this flat in a fancy fold. I can still pad fold it and use it, he will be fine, but I like to use it in fancy fold without cover during the day. So I just have used a pre-fold inside here, just like tri-fold it and fold it inside the fancy fold and he will be fine with it. Also, you will need diaper fasteners. So I have a few pins. You can also use something like a snappy. And nowadays, the diaper belts are really getting famous. So you can get those too. The snappies, you have to be very careful while using it. It can poke your hand, it can poke babies sometimes. And older child, trust me, they're very intelligent. They can take those off. I have my personal experience. My toddler will take those off and run naked in the house. So you have to be careful with the snappies. But then the pin, it's pretty good with the older child. They cannot take it off. But when your baby is really hard to change, sometimes diaper pins takes forever to put on them. In those situations, the diaper belt can be a really good option. And we have few vendors in India who sells those. I'm gonna try to have their link in the description box below. You can go ahead and find their website and see what they have to sell also we are working with a lot of vendors to give you guys really good discounts to get started with the cloth diapering our supporting di 
vendors are gonna be in the description box so go ahead and check those out as well last thing is gonna be a diaper sprayer if you have a diaper sprayer in your house it's really easy to scrape off the poop from the diaper in the toilet and just flush it off you know because sometimes baby's poop can be sticking to the diaper on the surface of the diaper actually this diapers are easy to spray off so your hands are gonna be saved from touching the poop so if this one is pooped on you just take it in the toilet and you just spray it off they are also known as the health faucet so you can use those as well and if you don't have one of those things you can diy your uh, diaper sprayer as well you don't really have to buy the ones they are marketed as diaper sprayer because sometimes they can be expensive i hope i have covered all the essentials that you need to get started with the cloth diapering journey and to make your life easy and enjoyable with the cloth diapers if you have not subscribed to our channel before you go please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button like our video share it with your friends and family and comment on it also follow us on our social media we are on facebook and instagram i hope to see you in our next video till then love your babies